Hi, my friends. Hi, my friends. Um, I decided I'm going to work a little bit more on my book tonight. I finished, in my last video, I put in the um, clusters on almost every page. I give a cluster, and almost every page got butterflies. And so I'm doing this sort of like, what do you call it? Sort of like a, a, a assembly line. I still love the way the edges look because of the way I did the pictures, did the, um, did the uh, pages on the edges. I invented that all by myself. Me and, me and um, oh, what's his name? Eli Whitney. What did he invent? The cotton gin? Yeah, me and Eli Whitney, we invented these. Now what I want to put, because this is nature, flowers, butterflies, animals, moths, weeds, trees, birds, although I don't have any birds in here yet, but now what I want to put in here is um, things, nature kind of things, and so... In this here box of things, I have got a collection. What I'm looking for now is flowers, like this. See? Flowers. Oh, I got more butterflies in here, too. And um, people. Don't think I'm going to have people in this one. I don't think so. No peeps. And so. Um, I'm going to dig for flowers. Now you can, a lot of this stuff that I have in here are um, flowers that comes out of like, oh, here's a bird. Flowers that come out of things like, um, oh, that's a bumblebee. bee. I got to send that to my friend. I have a friend, what's her name? Um, Grace. She's doing bumblebee bee journals. So I got to collect her up some Oh, this is pretty. It's got birds and flora and flowers. Oh, I'm finding birds, too. I think I'm in good shape here because I'm finding birds. I'm finding flowers. Oh, yeah, this is going to be. Oh, bugs is in nature, and that's a ladybug. Flower. Now, these square things like this. Those will probably go in like in a pocket. In a pocket. Oh, that has to go over here for Grace. I told her I'd be looking for some bees. So I got to send them to bees. There's a flower. No, I'm not going to send them to the bees. How come I say the wrong words? Just sometimes I just wonder. That's pretty. And so these flowers are going to go hither and yon, there and here and there, and everywhere in my... Oh, that's got another bee. That one's got... See? Ooh. I'm going to find them. Them bees are going to go. There's a bird. Oh, I didn't know I'd find birds in here. It's good to look through all of your things every once in a while because if you put things in a box for safekeeping then sometimes you forget what you have and so I put these in this box for safekeeping oh there's a flower and a butterfly boy am I in luck here I am in luck here finding things okay no 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 there's a little flower. Oh, yeah. This is happy. This is happy. Birds and flower. Oh, another bee. Grace, I'm finding bees. If you're watching, there's birds. Here's a little itsy bitsy teensy weensy flower. Oh, look at that. This, this one here is just cut out of a magazine. So that's what you do if you find flowers in magazines. And I just got a, uh, um, I, I was sent a catalog in the mail. 
Oh, look at that's a flower with a butterfly. A catalog in the mail from a seed catalog. Oh my gosh, there is some beautiful, beautiful images in that book that I got. The seed catalog. What you can do now is you can go to different seed places. Just a minute and I'll look up and see where that one is from. But you can go online and look and ask them to sit. Oh, another bee. And, um, good thing I looked in here, Grace. Um, oh, and there's a bee all by itself, look, Grace. I'll have to stick them in an envelope and get them. But yeah, I'll, I'll look in that in that um let me see I think it's right down there there's another little ladybug I just love ladybugs well maybe I'll start with those and um flower 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 Boy, I am, this is the luck of a draw here. And, um, flower, flower. Okay, I think I got enough flowers there. More butterflies, but I think I have enough butterflies. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Wait a second now. I'm going to look real quick and see if I see that. That cat. Catalog. I have a little sore throat, you guys. I, but I think it's self-inflicted. I think of my sore throat as self-inflicted because the reason why I think that is because I have this inhaler and I think I've been using it too often. So I'm going to not use it so often because I think that's why I got a sore throat. Gurneys, G-U-R-N-E-Y-S, Gurneys Seed and Nursery 2019 Spring Catalog. But this, if you go, order online at gurneys.com, G-U-R-N-E-Y-S. Go there and see, look at the size of these images in here. Look at these. And... Uh, there's vegetables, and there. look at the strawberries, blueberries. Look at these images. Look at those grapes. What a beautiful image these are. And they're big. The images are big, and they're colorful. Look at the cherries. Look at the peaches. But this is full of beautiful images. Look at the trees. And here, look, flowers, roses, oh my gosh, the flowers in here. Look at them all, and look at the size of the images. So you let your fingers do the walking. Look at the sunflower, look at the sunflowers with the little girl. And oh my goodness, let your fingers do the walking over to Gurney's and... Look at them strawberries. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. But, but yeah, look at that corn. <laughs> the images are gorgeous. And it's what I say, Gurneys, G-U-R-N-E-Y-S, apostrophe S. Oh, no, it's not an apostrophe on their online. It's just gurneys.com. And ask them to send you a catalog. They'll send you a catalog and then look at all them images you get. I don't know if they'll, I doubt that they'll charge you for a catalog. So, um, so yeah, you do that. You do that. Oh, good night, Elizabeth. That clue just fell way down there, and I don't know if I can reach it. I wonder if I can get this one. I'll use this one instead. Wait a minute. Because I need my grabber to get. Oh, I need my grabber to get down that far where it fell because it fell like a long ways down there. 
so I'll use this glue instead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm going to use this one instead. And uh, and so now I'm adding, because it's nature, we are going to have a lot more. Now what I was wanting to mostly concentrate is on putting, because I've got pockets at the bottom. I've got most of my, um, my um, clusters at the top. And I have not much in the middle. See, so I can smash down the middle. So I'm going to concentrate on putting the things in the middle. And of course, you saw me put that very first one right on the right on the front. I mean, right on the bottom because I'm a dork. I'm proud to be a dork. And so that's all I'm doing. So if if you are following along and if you're making a um, making a, a altered book journal. This is one of the simplest journals to make. My friend Cheryl made me one of these. The first one I seen was one that she had made me. Um, let me see. I think I got it right here, in fact. Oh, geez. This is the one that Cheryl, my friend Cheryl had made me. right here. She had made me this one. And so, and she did the same thing, two pages together, although I did more on the edge of my paper, so I did a little bit different, but she did the same thing. Well, with pockets, I've put images. This is a picture of my two girls, and I did some journaling about them. That's my two girls again. I did journaling about them, things in the pockets. But and here I had pictures of my silly Timmy. I put the three pictures in the pocket and I journaled about the pictures. This was a family picture that was made even before my littlest one was born. And so I put that picture there and then I journaled. And my daughter and her two little girls, the one she's got on her hip there, graduates from high school this year. That one there high school this year. That's when they were still in Alabama. That's little Katie there. Katie's now got two children of her own. So, but what I do with my pictures now is I don't, see there's a tag I wrote on the back. Did I write on the back of this one? Wrote on the back. Um, and so, but what I, I kept thinking, I've got to make myself some I've got to make myself some um, photo journals, and I try to, I try to um, sort the pictures. Okay, this is from this year. This is finally I said I ain't doing that. I just pick a picture, and I, looking through my box of pictures, and I pick one out, and I, um, one that jumps out at me, and I, glue it in there, and then I journal about it. I journal about. This is, these are four of us close friends. Me, myself, Nina, Sheila, and Mary. Mary's the one that just passed away. I miss her, oh my gosh, like you wouldn't believe. My daughter, she had to once have stitches in her hand because she cut her hand in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is me and my dad. Did I journal about that? Oh, I got a journal about this picture. Me and we were on the East Coast and we were, somewhere and there was the men's room and my daughter says look there's men in here let's go shopping yeah I gotta write that I gotta make sure I journal that so there's some things I have to still journal my uh, my niece when she was graduating high school and this niece has cerebral palsy but she graduated high school that's her and her dad that's her and me and journaled about that but none of these go in order nothing this is me and Papa when we got married. This is Papa when he was dressed for work one day. And it was, um, this was the year that the Tampa Bay Bucks were playing in the Super Bowl. And so they all had to go to work dressed in their spirit clothing. And he won. 
this is was my this was the hubster this is when we had our lace shop and it says the lace place there this was our little shop that we had a lot of lace but anyhow there's oh this i put a christmas card in here because this was christmas my brother myself and my little sister at that time there was only three children and um it turned into six children in my family but and, and that's how I will do it. And now, this was my son and his son. They were doing that Taekwondo thing. And I have a bunch of pictures to go with the Taekwondo. But I got some of them are just attached to the book. And some of them are tucked in the pocket. I can still journal more about that right there. And so, like I say, this was made by my friend and this is where I first got the idea I didn't put any corner pockets like this this here this is me sitting in the chair and I got one two three four five children in my lap because this is when I had the daycare at home and I was skinny I was skinny that's long ago this one here is so cute because there's Austin Austin's now married and here he was in a diaper now he's married. Oh, I just found this picture. And this is one that I have to, I definitely have to. Um, it looks like it's been through the war, but that's my grandfather, myself, and my brother. When we were in New Jersey and visiting my grandfather and my grandmother, it was shortly after that that we lost my grandfather. And so I need to journal about that picture. And so, and then that's it. I have almost finished this book but this is one of the simplest um, simplest books to make is the um, altered altered yeah altered books it very simple and they can turn out so pretty and this one here I'm going to need a lot of tags and booklets to journal on because I am ending up that I have got like a lot of NF ephemera that will be glued in here. After I put this, these in here, the flowers, after I get the flowers, because I'm concentrating on flowers this time. Then I'm going to concentrate on the tags that I put in. So my next video will be about the tags and the booklets that I put in. And so, but see, there still is room here for journaling. You can put a photo here or maybe a photo, and then you can still have room for journaling. And if you don't want to cover up, I don't think that needs any more on that page. This one I can do something on the page. This is square, so I'm going to put that just in the pocket. I want that to be, just be in the pocket. And then I think, I think then some flowers. i got to soak the lid of this and even add some water into this glue. I think I said that the last time I was using this. But, now see, I said I was going to put them in the middle. Look at me putting them at the bottom. So this is probably still going to be, oh, how pretty this matches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, like I said before, this book is going to be given away in a drawing of some kind when I reach 6,000 subbies now. I don't know how I got 5,000 and something. I don't know how I got all them. They just appeared out of nowhere. And so, and it's, it's, I may never get to 6,000. If I don't get to 6,000, then I get to keep the book. And that means I win the book. And so, but I'm just wanting to get flowers on here. Now, see, this is quite busy. Um... And I think a photograph in here with a mat would be enough. I might could put, see, because if I put a flower on there, it just kind of gets lost. You don't really see that. 
So, but I think I'll add a flower right there. I'm going to add a flower. Do I want that one? No, you know what I want? I want a ladybug on the leaf. Elizabeth, I am such a dork. I just, I picked up the ladybug on the leaf and the flower, so they both get there. We'll do it like that. That'll be fine. That'll be just fine, and that's very pretty. Now we'll go here. Whoops, this one. Now, this one too, I think is it's got enough. I think this one's enough. Just with the papers, because the papers are so beautiful. I added a butterfly, two butterflies I added on the last video. But you see that how pretty? If there's a picture here and do some journaling right here, I think that'll be enough. Now here, let's see what happens there. Now because it's mostly in the browns, a flower will still show up nicely. So do I want that one? or do, Ooh. Oh, that's it. The flowers, it's got like daisies and it's got some bluebirds. So we're going to put some of those right here. And I want to make this big pretty enough to where I'll be proud to give it away. I, I want to be proud to give it away. I don't want to give anything away that's dorky looking. Look at that page. Again, I can put flowers down here. This page, because the pick the flat the papers are so beautiful. I don't believe that I need to add any any picture any more there, but I can add flowers down here. And that let's see what I have here. The and these are all like wildflowers. There's a bird cage right there, so I think I need to have a, a bird. Look at this. Oh, yes, that's that needs to be there. Let me see. Now, if you do not have like these here kind of kind of things, you you find a magazine or print things out from Pinterest has a lot of things you can print out that don't cost you anything. They have a lot of free printables. Printables, And if when you go to Pinterest and if you put in the search free bird printables or free nature printables, you will come up with many, many things that you can use. Okay, now again, this one is very busy with the butterflies. Now, what if I, oh, you know, if I use that black one or sepia, sepia print, black and white, that's not bad. That, I think, kind of looks nice. And it does still stand out. It doesn't get lost in... I'm going to put it out here on this corner. Again, I'm doing the top instead of the middle, like I said. Well, hopefully when I, and this orange, it's got a butterfly here. One place, I, oh, that's where I had my butterfly upside down. Someplace else I had an upside down butterfly. But this one, I think I want to put something, let's see, something that'll, look at that. What do you think? See, and if it overlaps, that is even nicer. Have them overlap. And see how quickly this goes together. How quickly it goes together. And like I did, like each step, I just went... I think I need a flower, too. Just one thing each step, and then put it away, and then the next day or the next time just put in some more look at this if I put this like it's growing out of the pocket oh that's good Elizabeth this one is going to be tucked into the pocket just a little bit and it looks like the flower is growing right out of the pocket 
Isn't that cute? I love that look of that. And I'm going to have words too. So I think I'm going to leave that place for words. So words or some kind of um, sentiments to do with nature I'm going to have. So this is another page that really is enough right here. But I can add to the pocket. I can add something to the pocket. I think this is, wait a minute, what about this one? Let me see if I, oh yeah, that's good. And it'll tuck a little bit under that butterfly's wing. When you tuck it or, or lay it over, it kind of gives you that, the layered look almost gives it a dimension. See there, because now just that little spot where the, the butterfly's wing is going over the leaf on the flower and it gives that little bit of dimensional. But the paper is so beautiful that, um, and this paper comes from Die Cuts with a View and it's the Mariposa line. We learned also that Mariposa means butterfly in Spanish. And so here, now that's got a bird in a bird cage. This one here can use some flowers up here. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what I'm going to do with this one? Ooh, this is going to be in the pocket as well, some. So you just move it around the page a little bit. See, now part of it's tucked in the pocket. Part of it is over the pocket. The whole butterfly shows part of the plant is in the pocket. The flower is over the pocket. Isn't that pretty? I like that. An image or journaling can go up here, or you can put your image, your picture up here and journal down here. And you don't have to put pictures, but I think everybody has pictures that need to go in to a photo album. Okay, let's see. A couple cute little... This one here has got a place for a word, so I think I'll end up putting a word on there. And um, let's see, this one, this, this flower too is a nice one for coming out of a pocket. So that one's going to be tucked in that pocket. I think I have only a couple more videos to go before I'll actually be working on the, on the cover. And the cover is going to be more of an art type, an artsy type of thing. And um, because I do have some plans I want to do with the cover. I do not know if they will work out like I want them, but I'm, I've got them rattling around in my empty skull right now to see if I can come up with something. Okay, and then here, oh, that's another page that's going to definitely need flowers. And I'm liking these tucked into the pocket. So if that, did I have any more birds? Yes, there's a bird. Yep, that's going to go here. That is going to go here. Normally tonight I would have been doing my, um, it's got to go there partly because I got that butterfly upside down. So I'm camouflaging my upside down butterfly. Okay. I was supposed to be having my ATC live stream tonight, but I didn't do that. I just wasn't in the mood. You got to be in the mood. And because as I think most of you know, I've had some emotional things going on these last couple of weeks. And so... 
So, yeah, things have been a little bit different in my house. But um, it's it's all getting better today. I slept all day. It's just, yeah. And so things are getting better. And I know each day will improve from here on out. I won't accept anything different. So, and then I'll get back into my normal routine of live, live streams, which is Monday morning at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and then Tuesday afternoon at 8 o'clock Easter Time in the evening. Easter Time. Eastern Time. And, um, and then on Thursday evenings at at um, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. So that's three times a week that I go live and I try to keep them all on the same schedule. It makes my life a little bit easier. And I need anything in the world to make my life easier. Because uh, I'm quite lazy. Oh, here, I like this and I like this. A page for a picture, a page for journal. I mean, yes, for journaling. And, and so, but I still have some flowers here. Oh, look at those lavender ones. And that's good because we got lavender up here. So maybe that one will go there. And I think that'll make me happy. And this will let the world should revolve around me being happy. That's all I can say about that. Oh, and this one. Look. This page, wherever you all, wherever you are, wherever you are, be all there. Jim Elliott says that. Now, look at that forest. I just love that. Now, here I think what I'm going to do is just put maybe a flower here coming out of this pocket. And put a ladybug in the corner up there. I don't want to put much on this page. I, um, I just love the forest as it is. So we're going to have that flower. And I think that is enough on that page. That's enough on that page here is something down here on the pocket. A rose is a rose is a rose. Just, we got a couple more pages. No, Elizabeth. Okay, now let's put that rose there. And then that page is good. We're going to call that one good. Now this one, I like that there, except it needs to have a frame around it to divide this from this. So, but maybe, no, 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 yes. Sometimes, you know, I don't really know anything too much about making things match and stuff. But if you just kind of move things around, then something just pops and says, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what you need. So let's just put that in there. That's the one that I thought looks good there. I'm going to put that there, but I'm going to put a little black frame around it. Okay, so then we're on the last page and we're almost out of flowers. There's another one that can live in the pocket. And then, okay, look at that. I pulled out just enough out of the, out of the box to make some of them. I don't know if they should go up and down or up and down, so I'll just put them sideways. I'll just put them sideways. There you go. If you can't decide which is up and which is down, just put it sideways. Okay, then I'll put that one growing out of the pocket. Let's put that in the pocket. 
Let's put this in the pocket. Let's put this in the pocket. And let's put this in the pocket. And let's in the, put this in the pocket. And I may move them. Or I may add them. This is a little bit of flower. i got to put that on there just so I don't lose it. I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to just put that right there so I don't lose it. Okay. There we go. So that's the flowers. Now each page has got flowers on it. So do you see how that's growing? And so on my next video, I believe I'm going to have tags and booklets so that each of the pockets has something in it. I hope you win it. I hope whoever wins it will love it. I hope whoever wins this will love it. And I think they will. I know the front is boring, but you wait till you see what I have planned for that. And these here, I've got to nail these to. I don't have much with bumbly bees, but I'm going to nail them to my friend Grace because she's making a bumblebee journal and she's having trouble finding bumblebees. I'm going to send them to her in an envelope with a little heart. Okay, let me say, tell you that. I got to remind you all that I just love you dearly and I'm going to read to you a positive, little positive something, heart thoughts, a treasury of in, inner wisdom. I deserve joy. Okay, we learn our belief systems as very little, very little children. We then move through life creating experiences to match our beliefs. Many of you believe that you deserve to live in an atmosphere of not good enough. Start doing affirmations that reflect what you really deserve. State that you are willing to go beyond your parents and your own early childhood limitations. Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I deserve all good. I deserve to be prosperous. I deserve joy. I deserve love. Open your arms wide and say, I am open and receptive. I am wonderful. I deserve all good. I accept. Very good. Okay, that's my positive note for for the end of this video and I thank you so much I love you all for coming and may God watch over you every step you take every move you make and I will see you on the next video God bless